So to make those two emulsified sauces that are the sauce hollandaise and the sauce bearnaise, first I'm going to make a sabayan using those two egg yolks. They are sitting right now in some water, the water I'll be using to make that sabayan. I'm going to make first a sabayan with those two egg yolks. Then I will add to that sabayan to get to my sauce hollandaise some clarified butter. I have around 200 milliliters of clarified butter right here. I will then season that hollandaise with some cayenne pepper and a little bit of lemon juice, salt, and maybe more black pepper. The base to make that sauce hollandaise is we need first to make a sabayon. I have here with me two egg yolks and uh, with 60 milliliter of water. Okay. I'm going to create with that a sabayon, meaning I'm going to put them into my bowl here which is on top of a, a little bamari, as I call I pan some water into it, bring that to a simmer, put the bowl, I'm going to add my ingredient. I will then stir it till I get to a nice, thick and hairy consistency. It should form at that point what we call the ribbon. Or you could be able to draw a, a line on your egg mixture and the line should stay for at least a minimum of six seconds. That's a good way to know when your sabayon is actually cooked. Important point, uh, you want to make sure that the bottom of the bowl is not in contact with uh, actual water here that be boiling. Huh? It needs to be, uh, I would say, a nice inch above the level of the water. If it's touched the water directly, there's a big chance you might uh, dry and over, overcook your sabayon, I would say, it may become grainy. So make sure you have room between those two. Here this is a glass bowl, which I like because the heat is not too too aggressive, too quick. When you use a metal bowl, there's a chance that you know uh, your sabayon might dry a little bit, but it work fine too. Okay, so I'm going to add my egg yolk and water here into the bowl. Put that on, and I'm going to stir it. So the water is going to boil, create steam, and that steam is actually going to cook my egg mixture. Thing important, the bowl need to be at you know, the same size I will say of your saucepan here. If it was too large, if my bowl come too much on the outside and you want a, a gas heat, the dry heat will come and dry um, the egg on the side of your bowl. So make sure that you have the appropriate bowl for the appropriate saucepan, it's, it's important. Sometimes your hollandaise may break as you add uh, your clarified butter to it. And it usually breaks if the sabayon is not cooked enough. Or if you added the butter too quick. But overcooking your sabayon might not help to get a, a perfect uh, result. So it's very important to cook it to the right stage, which I'll show you in a moment. Another sign that your sabayon is almost ready is when you start seeing the bottom of the bowl. Now as I stir, I cannot see the bottom, but at one point, I will be, will make like a line. And uh, that's another sign that you know that your sabayon is almost ready. Here I'm doing what we call the figure eight. I'm drawing an eight into the egg mixture. And I make sure to go all around here, all on the edge so it doesn't dry there. a little bit and I'm going to stir it like that on the side. I'm just going to cook it slowly while it's off the heat. Then I will go back on the heat. It's getting thicker. It's a little too liquid still. Make sure to go on the edge of your bowl so it doesn't dry. This is where it starts drying usually. And keep in mind that if you dry the egg, sabayon here, 
what you dry actually won't be there when it's time to add your butter and it's like you're losing a little bit of the amount of egg you should really have if you're just drying them and then if you add them to the hollandaise as you incorporate your clarified butter it's going to make your hollandaise grainy and you want to prevent that so it makes what we call the hook it's a nice little hook here it's ready time to add the butter make sure that the butter it's hot when you add it to your sabayon uh, if not you're just going to make a cold sauce hollandaise which is not really good at one point if you see that your sabayon is getting a little thick you could add also a drop of water to it warm water could be the water you you add in your saucepan when you cook your sabayon if it's get too thick. Here it's, get, it's getting a little thick so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of water, warm water here and stir that in to thin it out a little bit. Then I'm going to add more of my clarified butter. And you just stir it in slowly. So keep in mind, eh, you do not want to add your butter too fast. It's very, very important. So where do I know that it's ready? Okay, I'm going to add the rest here. Up. Beautiful. Look how nice and smooth that is. I'm going to finish that up to my Hollandaise sauce. I'm going to add the lemon juice, a tiny bit of cayenne pepper in a point here, and here I just made my sauce hollandaise. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy that quick demo on how to make an Hollandaise sauce. Let me know if you like it. Press the like button. Subscribe. Bye bye.